just be me. Before I begin this video, I'm going to alert you all by first of all saying that this video is going to contain mentions of autistic and disabled people being abused, electrocuted, and tortured. And this isn't going to be comfortable to listen to, but it is something that we desperately, desperately need to bring awareness to. I haven't scripted this video, I haven't got my fancy lights on, I heard about this about 10 hours ago, and since hearing of it, have been an absolute mess and have been unable to think, unable to speak, unable to communicate, unable to do anything, um, and this is something that we need to bring focus to and that we need to bring attention to um so i'm just going to tell you what's happening and i want you to listen on july 6 2021 the federal appeals court overruled a ban on electronic devices to be used on disabled people and on particular to be used on autistic students being disguised as behavioral correction therapy these devices are currently being used in the judge rottenberg educational center an institution located in massachusetts america for people with disabilities emotional disorders and autistic like traits this center has been condemned for torture by the united nations since its opening in 1971 yet it still continues and among the various Thing that the center continues to use and to do for its students including physical abuse restraints sensory deprivation isolation withholding foods restraint bags being tied to beds and the murder of five of their students the GED shock device is a device which is being used on more than 50 of their current 300 students and at times have been used in conjunction to the previous methods as I have just discussed this GED shock torture device was created by the founder of this school and created to be used solely as part of the behavioral change program they deem this device as necessary to change behaviors most commonly seen in autistic people these behaviors that this device has been used on include stimming as in flapping your hands further torture and further shocks because students have screamed when they were being shocked standing without permission echolalia and noises that they cannot control saying no or discompliance of any sort which is something that if you have a look at this school's website is something that they hold high value in one of their main things that they praise themselves on is the fact that they are able to teach kids to be compliant and a recent video was released showcasing the shocking of a student because he did not want to take his jacket off. This resulted in the child being tied to a bed for seven hours while being shocked 31 times. Locked and restrained after refusing to take off his coat. Can you jack it up? Can you jack it up, This device has been proven to cause neuropathy, psychological trauma, and third degree burns. This device was created to be more painful than a taser and is being used on children. We have been fighting for disability rights for years. We have been screaming from the rooftops into thin air while nobody listens to listen to us and to learn about us and to learn about our voices, to respect us and to see us as human beings. This sort of treatment is one that you would have expected in the 1800s. This sort of treatment is one that you would have expected to be happening years ago that is being learned about in history books now. Not something that we are not even able to fight for because it has already been overruled and seen as necessary. Over the past 12 months, this is the third video that I've created talking about an issue that puts autistic people and autistic lives at risk. And these three videos and these three issues are not even a drop in the ocean of all of the issues that are currently happening right now. In the UK, autistic people were giving a non-consensual do not resuscitate if they became sick from COVID. In America, disabled students are being electrocuted. We are being murdered by the same people and the same system that claims to protect us. Enough is enough. I am so bloody tired of fighting for my right to exist. I am so sick of hearing of people that are just like me, that just so happen to have been brought up in worse situations, that are going through something like this, that are being electrocuted and tortured because of who they are. The Judge Rottenberg Center has taken ABA therapy to the extremes, deciding to not just train autistic children to become neurotypical and to act like how society wants them to act, but by doing this, by using electric shocks and horrible, abusive torturous treatment. One of the reasons why this ban of shock therapy was overruled was because the Judge Rottenberg Center said that they only ever use this as a last resort. They've tried everything else and these 
students who are harmful to themselves and to other people. Not that this is something that should have even been a discussion point, not that there is ever any need to shock an autistic child to the point of having third degree burns across their body. However, these claims have been refuted and debunked time and time again. Multiple government agencies have come into the center and seen that they are using this shock treatment on children that have never ever ever had any history of self-harm or harm to others. Most of the time, these therapies are being used as punishment when the child isn't acting the way that they are recorded to act, such as stimming, such as rocking in their chair, such as not wanting to take their jacket off. There has been accounts of this device being used on children who wrap their legs around chairs, on stopping their work for more than 10 seconds, on using the bathroom without permission, and then getting shocked because they wet themselves because they weren't allowed to use the bathroom. So, how can we help? If you live in America, you can help by urging your Congress to support the CASA Act. The CASA Act would ban almost all kinds of restraints and all kinds of seclusion across all 50 states and would require school districts to collect further evidence to use these harmful things. I've included a link down in the description with a script that you can use and an email form to find the contact details of your local Senate easier, as well as a form to find your elected officials' contact details if you would like to ring them and create further change. For the rest of us that reside outside of America, while we can't create immediate change by contacting our Congress or encourage them to pass and follow human rights Acts. We can still help by signing petitions and spreading the word. Words are powerful. There's power in numbers. There's power in media. We need to all work together to spread this message far and wide. We need to raise autistic and other disabled voices. We need to stand for justice. We are being murdered by the same people who are trying to help us. We are living in a culture where the abuse of animals is illegal, but the same device is being used on autistic people is just deemed as treatment. We can't stand for this anymore and it is time that we demand change. I've included links to further news articles, documents, petitions, things that you can sign, things that you can do to help out. It's time to create change and we are not going to rest until not a single person is being subject to the torture of this treatment. Just being